Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. Happy 4th of July. Hope your uh, 4th of July is going well. It's been a pretty good uh, Sunday so far. It's currently dinner time and I'm making some steak. I'm making a steak dinner. Yes, I am very excited. Um, I love Michael's steak. He makes literally the best steak I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and um, the last time I had steak was last uh, 4th of July when Michael made me steak. So I am pumped for this. Um, As you can tell, I'm here wrapped up in my blankie because it's uh, very cozy to be here. And I'm very excited to watch you cook these steaks. They've been sous vide for hours. About four hours. Four hours. And um, he's going to cook them up nice for us yeah so they're sous vide right now i got um ribeyes and i'm just gonna sear them in the apartment i went outside to check if our grills were working and because it's the fourth everyone has used all the propane in the grills which is kind of surprising i would think that you know the propane would be hooked up by like a line but that might yeah like i don't really understand why they do that and yeah so um but that's what we're doing i'm gonna sear some steaks i did not get wagyu steak even though chris was telling me to get some wagyu steak yeah our our other friend chris um he gets wagyu every once in a while because they live well okay so you say it's not well one time he got it from the actual wagyu place right yeah uh double eight cattle in ohio yeah, so he, he, and that was the first time I ever had it, I think. Um, but he got some there, and then he said he got some at Walmart recently. But yeah, it was really far out of the way, and who knows if they would even had it, you know? So these ribeyes looked beautiful. So it was kind of like, what's the point, you know? Mm-hmm. In fact, you thought one's a filet. Yeah, I'm, I was looking at it. So we got them from Costco, and I'm thinking one of them I feel like is... I don't know, maybe a filet, but, um, but yeah, that's what we got. And I know Chris went and got Wagyu yesterday at the neighborhood Walmart. So, but I did not do that. No. Nope. Okay. I, um. We'll have to ask him to send us a picture of his. I wonder if he already um, ate it. I don't know. He might've, yeah. he might've, he might've already eaten it. I, or he's grilling it today. He's probably grilling it today. Shoot. Yeah. But I will say grilling a steak I mean, from my experience, I feel like it, you get a lot more flavor and it tastes a lot better when you sear it in your house or on a pan. And I know I hate searing stuff in, in the house, but it, it just tastes really good. I mean, and, and you get to keep that flavor. Like if you do propane grilling, I know everyone's like, this isn't true, whatever. But I do taste the propane in the meat. That's me. And I know it's crazy. I understand, but I taste it. And then charcoal. I love charcoal. But when you're doing an expensive or a good cut of meat, it absorbs so much of that charcoal flavor. I don't taste all the work that I put into it when I sous vide it. So I I enjoy searing it outside if I can. That's what I was going to do, just take out a pan and sear it and baste it in butter because it's already cooked. I just got to get that sear on it. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing thing to watch. I'm very <laughs> excited. Yeah. So I'm doing that, and then I got some uh, baked potatoes in the Instant Pot, and we also got some corn at Goose the Market, which who knows if that's going to taste any different than, you know, like regular corn from Walmart or Meyer or whatever, but it might. And then we're going to have some broccoli, and broccoli. yeah, we got broccoli, right. and maybe some, I don't know what else. I think that's about all. I mean, oh, we got really good horseradish. There's this amazing, I think it's called Authors, Arthur's. Yeah, something like that. You found it first in the town where we used to live, and yeah. then we lived in the same town. And, um, oh, man, you know what that makes me think of? What? That makes me think of Tasty Tuesdays. Back in the day, Michael, when Michael and I lived in the same town, we lived in different apartment buildings. But every Tuesday, um, I was in grad school, and I was just working part-time, and you were working part time. You were you were in grad school too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we for I some like, yeah. yeah. Yes. So we had like nothing to do on Tuesday. 
yeah. a- afternoon. So we would always uh, like late morning Tuesday we would go to the Jewel Osco and we would pick out steaks and we would buy yeah. a baguette and broccoli and potatoes and we would go back to Michael's apartment and we would make this elaborate fancy lunch on Tuesday yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> and we, we would had lobster one time I think yeah I yeah it was it was really good and we would always I remember we would always get honey because I liked putting honey on my baguette. And so we had honey and we would eat the, we would eat that and, um, which probably took like an hour or more to make, I don't know, like all that food, but then we would eat that and then we would watch SNL and just Mm -hmm. like sit and enjoy the fact that we just ate all that food and that would be our afternoon on, that was Tasty Tuesdays way back in the day. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, that was an awesome, Tasty Tuesdays were awesome. And that was before I did sous vide. So it was you know, you're searing a raw piece of meat on a skillet or whatever. Crazy. So, um, yeah, that was so fun. Mm-hmm. I love, I do remember getting the baguette or the sourdough loaf or like the mini sourdough loaves that yeah. Costco sells or whatever it's called. Jewel Osco. Mm-hmm. Those were really fun. Those were fun days. Yeah. So we did that and that's that. Mm-hmm. So later tonight, I think Emily and Matthew are going to talk in a little bit, just about their day. But later tonight, we're going to walk to the War Memorial and see fireworks maybe, or try to see some fireworks. Um, I think we will be able to. It's just, uh, it's a lot of people down here, I think, and it's going to be hard to probably find a sp- spot to just to stand. So thankfully, we don't have to drive down there. We can just walk. Maybe when Emily comes back, we'll tell the story about the time we tried to watch fireworks in Chicago. And yeah, that will be fun. Okay, that works. Well, I'm going to get started on dinner and I'll see you in a bit. I hope you're all having a good Sunday. Bye. There. <laughs> Hello, we're back. I'm here with Emily now. Um, hope you're still having a good day. Uh, wanted to share a little story about another 4th of July that we shared together, Emily, mm-hmm. which was the first time we went downtown Chicago for 4th of July and we were going to watch the fireworks on Navy pier Mm -hmm. and we got there super early and we sat on this curb and we had an amazing view. Do you remember this? And there was a giant tree to our right. And we were like, it's so good that we're here in this spot because that tree would be really like, you wouldn't be able to see anything if you were, didn't have the right spot. Yeah. Well, so we're sitting there on this curb with the street in front of us. And do you remember that bus came and parked right in front of us? A giant bus came and parked right in front of us. And there was like, I don't know, like a hundred people around yeah. us. And we're all like, what? And someone's like, move the bus. And the guy's like, I'm parking here. And he literally, so this was like right before the fireworks started. And people had been waiting for hours outside. And literally all of us who were behind the bus had to then go stand behind that tree and we watched it from behind this tree like through a tree so we had like this this whole day that was leading up to watching these fireworks but the good thing is we weren't that impressed with the firework display anyway no so it wasn't it wasn't anything too crazy (laughs) but uh so then we learned for later years to just watch from a distance and not get caught up in trying to be on the pier because um yeah. It's too crowded. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. I don't know. Do you have any other memories of downtown 4th of July? Yes, downtown Chicago. Super fun. I think the day leading up to the fireworks always ends up being a lot more fun, clearly, than just watching the fireworks. But how iconic to watch them at Navy Pier. Yeah. I love that we have done that two times. Mm-hmm. And that is our tradition to spend 4th of July together. I love that. And we're plotting against Michael for next year. We want Michael to take us to Rome for 4th of (laughs) July. And he he doesn't want to. Casual. Just Rome. Yeah. Just take us to Italy, Michael. Come on. (laughs) If you're still watching, comment down below Italy. Yeah. (laughs) If you want Emily and I to go to Italy with Michael, um, comment down below. Please, Michael, send us to Italy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think we can make it happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. (laughs) 
I think that pathology people would love that. That's true. We could show them all around the country you and know, we <laughs> this could be a travel vlog, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> he says we don't know where we're going, which is true. We would need a tour guide. That's okay. Tell them what we did today. Exactly. Okay. So, um, after lunch, Matthew and I went down to the pool and we sat on the edge and just like waited our feet in for like 45 minutes. And it was so gorgeous, gorgeous and relaxing and warm. So it usually, I think I've told you guys, the pool can get rather crazy here on the weekends, but it actually was not that bad. It was pretty calm and chill, even though all the chairs were taken, but that doesn't really take much. Like there's only like 20 to 25 chairs at the pool. So plus the two that the people brought themselves, <laughs> <laughs> which we thought about sitting in when they were sitting in them. Yeah, there was these two random chairs that didn't match any other chairs at the <laughs> pool. Like I think somebody brought their own. Which is funny too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just sat on the edge, put our feet in, talked, yeah. did some really high quality people watching. Yeah, yeah. You know, people having fun on the 4th of July. And there were some people who were sitting behind us in chairs who were playing some music that we liked, yeah. like some Taylor Swift, some, I can't remember, Olivia. Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, Olivia mm. Rodrigo. And it wasn't super loud or anything. It was just perfect. Um, but then about 45 minutes in, <laughs> somebody in their apartment that faces the pool, like their balcony faces the pool, they opened their door and like started blaring other music. Yeah, so intense. we were like, Okay, I think it's time for us to go. I think things are kicking up a notch yeah. out here, and this is not really our scene. Yeah, yeah. It was about to get uh, a little more intense than we were interested, <laughs> and I think, I'm sorry, I keep making you hold this for That's me. Right yeah, but uh, it was so beautiful, and it was like a perfect summer Sunday afternoon activity and so relaxing, mm -hmm. and it just felt good to be warm. And yeah, it was really, really nice. Very, very relaxing. Yes. So now we're about to watch Michael cook up these steaks. We're about to be on a cooking show. Yeah. It's going to be very, very fun. Like we're the spectators. Yeah. We're the live studio audience for the <laughs> pathology chef hour. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to tell the people? Mm. I'm just having so much fun with Matthew here this weekend. I'm sad that he has to go home tomorrow. It's the best. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to mention it? No, go ahead. Yeah, okay, well, okay. So when Michael and I got married almost six years ago, craziness, um, Matthew was Michael's best man, yeah. which is so special. And Jasmine that you guys have seen a few times on – Sorry, that's our instant pot beeping um, that you guys have seen on Cunningham Cronies a few times. She was my maid of honor. So that was so yeah, cool. Yeah. Love that. It was good to see her again because it had been since your wedding was the last time I saw her. Wow. So yeah. it was nice to run into them at dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when Michael asked me to be his best man, He we went to – this like prairie reserve where there's just like a bunch of open grass. <laughs> this is so <laughs> over the top. And he, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it was a park. That's it was a park. Reserve. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, and uh, he had bought a kite because he knows that I love to fly kites. So we went and flew kites. And then while we were flying kites, um, he said, will you be my best man? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Michael likes me talking on this That's vlog so right now. Yeah, it was very fun. It was very, very sweet. And we had a great time. Your wedding was wonderful and super fun. And I still think about um, Lucas being there and he and I were dancing when it was getting like, you know, more um, high energy. And it was just <laughs> hilarious. It was so funny. So what a great, beautiful, beautiful time. So yeah, it's been good to be here. It's good to hang out, catch up. It's we'll been a whole year. We'll have to see you sooner. I 
hope so. Next time. I hope so. Yeah. Well, it sounds like this is going to be the end of the vlog for the 4th of July, 2021. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th. Um, Emily, I'm going to let you sign off because I feel like you know what you're doing a little bit better than me. I'll be here. I don't know. I think the people, the people want you. Oh, the wow. people have spoken. Okay. All right. If no one has told you this today, you are loved. You are valued. You are important and you make this world a better place. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the vlog and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.